okay hey it's me and it's been a while since i posted a video or uploaded a video and don't mind my hair she love being herself um but no so shout out to the shirt yay if you like your luffy them period or nida okay because that is um no but i'm at the laundromat right now washing my shirt for work and i'm just i gotta go to work today at five but i just want to know like what y'all been up to because i haven't posted a video in a while and i know it's been a while because i just like went on my channel and was like oh my gosh it's been like a whole year since i posted a video and i'm like but why like why taylor have you not posted a video like i need to get better at this and i'm trying to be more consistent and i think that's my thing like being non-consistent when it comes to certain stuff even with like languages with like shoot jobs but then it's like they have their ups and downs with certain things like languages and, and stuff like that so one thing for show one two things for certain is that how it go how it go let me know it's hot outside i'm sweating in my area of so sweat but like um for chinese so i'm still learning chinese um sorry if they keep going in and out like that just the the uh, the lighting so i'm still learning chinese i'm still using that book that i did for my last videos that you guys have seen so i'm still using that so you know to be clear i have not really progressed like i would want to or think i should be i guess for how long i've been learning chinese and i say i've learned i've been learning chinese more like longer than any other language i've been trying to learn or trying to grasp i guess and because I haven't been consistent, right? It's not, I'm not as far along as I should be. Not could be, should be. So I was thinking like, dang, like, and I've gotten recommendations from my friends, you know, my chingles and, you know, my pongo, uh, pongo, was it pongo? Pongo. Yeah, I don't use a lot of Chinese when it comes to like my talking. So I like, I'll be like, dang, is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, <clears throat> side note. Anyhow, um, I just want to like get better at using it so when I see it or if somebody asks me to say something I can like lay it down you know I can start a conversation or I can have a conversation and we can talk for like an hour you know those are goals right achievable goals but because I haven't been like and mind you I don't be a lot I don't be a lot wow I'm not around a lot of like native Chinese speakers so it is kind of like it's tough for me so i like i have to be like either online or if i do find somebody that's native and like chinese or even korean or something it's usually like they don't use it necessarily a lot i get a lot of people that are like, like even when it be, when it comes to like certain korean people like okay at my job there's this person who like had came in and they just so happen to be korean and will like do side talk little cute side talk here and there right so i'm like cool i found a person but i don't want to be like i just want to be friends with you so you can teach me korean like i just generally don't mind being friends with people who just so happen to speak another language i think that's cool like if you speak another language that's fantastic like because i don't necessarily i speak english but it's like i speak other things and you know type of thing with your cultures and all that so i feel like it's like cool if you have because i have friends that speak other languages besides english so i just always thought that was like cool you know that's different we don't have to be like everybody else boom, 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 boom. right so i was just thinking like dang i need to like literally improve my freaking chinese because i've been studying it or learning about it for so long that i should at least be at elementary level and i feel like i kind of am but then i'm kind of not because i don't use it hardly at all so it's like i either have to have my sister she's not in the, no one's in the car with me but either have my sister like force her to learn it with me or force like a friend to like learn it like we're gonna learn this together and we're gonna get it together right but i'm like i can only do so much because i don't i'm not around a lot of chinese speakers like in person so for me to learn the language i need to have like that in-person interaction right i need you to see me like trying to pronounce it like i've done video calls that's cute but i need like 
you i'm right here you over there type of thing so that's how i learned and that's another thing because somebody keep asking like a lot of people have asked me like you know taylor how do you learn how do you learn the language like my younger sister she's trying to learn korean and i was like telling her you know you might want to figure out how you actually learn just in general so you can figure out how you can learn the language you're trying to learn and i was like it's a lot of trial and error and i finally was able to like grasp a little bit better of how i can learn chinese or korean or thai or vietnamese shout out to the vietnamese people period um i got a friend that's vietnamese so that's why i said that anyway um but shout out to them but just like even like we're learning french or italian or this and that so it's kind of like or german or russian you know or spanish yeah mm -hmm. the girls know anyway um i just feel like you gotta learn how you learn and so when you figure that out you can pretty much do just about anything even when like school related so yeah but she wants to learn korean and i've been telling her to like the best prob probable way after you figure out how you learn is you can use talk to me in korean you know shout out to them because they've been around for like a little bit you know a little bit longer than others so and they have like beginner beginner videos so those like the, probably the best videos you go look at and see and then i would say if you use your mobile phone a lot i have a friend shout out to you friend hey friend um who like switch their settings i'm staring out to the space sorry i like to do that um who switched his settings to whatever language he's learning so he was obviously he's learning korean so he was like girl about to switch the phone over to korean or the hangul i'm about to use it boom 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 so if you do that and if you're able to like grasp it and understand it i did it for a cute day and a half i think it was about a day and a half i did it mine in chinese but some of my apps i don't know how to like write the like chinese characters for certain stuff so i was like oh girl i gotta go back i that, couldn't even figure out. i was trying to get a ride somewhere so i couldn't figure out what it was in chinese and i was like what is this character oh my gosh so for me like when i'm learning it i can switch my phone to chinese but it's like i don't know a lot of pinyin so which helps me write the character so i'm like girl i need to probably learn that so that's why i've been learning from the book because the book give me a character it give me like what the character mean some few sentences and then how to write the character and i'm just like studying it or i'll try to use it or i'll just like randomly just i've been watching a lot of costume design dramas from china i guess or something like that i guess that's what they call them or like historic they're like not necessarily historical but like historical at the same time i guess but i've been watching like a cabillion of those i probably didn't watch like 10 of them <laughs> within like the span of three weeks 10 of them 10 different ones all kind of have like the same but i like them i like how they all different and i and i didn't kind of figure out who my favorite like chinese actress is and actress like it's fun but to me like languages is like a serious matter and i don't know i just feel like i really enjoy it. i really tell i like telling people like hey i know chinese like i literally would just tell people like not just out the blue crazy but if we're talking and i was like oh do you learn do you know do you know a second language or something like that you know besides english if i know they're like a foreign person and then have like an accent i just be like i know it sounds crazy some people say it might sound rude but i don't i feel like i don't never say it in a rude way so what i do is like if they're if i'm talking to the person and i'll be like i know you speak english but girl where what part of the city you from like even though like we know jamaican people speak english right but we know when they you know right so it's like I feel like I don't say it rudely, but it sounds rude to other people that are not. I was like, oh, or I'll just like say Hangumai or Hang Hanguk Saram, right? And they're like, oh, how do you know? You know, I'll be like, girl, I just know, girl. You know, that type of stuff. So that's how I've met a lot of Korean people because I'll go to the areas that they be at and I ask, hey, Hanguk Saram, they be like, yeah, girl, how you know? I was like, yeah exactly so anyway this video get extra long and i don't know i want you know more people to like to subscribe to the channel so they can like see my fun side my giggly side my happy side the you know the struggles of life and stuff if you're an adult i am an adult my birthday this month woo woo shout out to the eight the october people period that's include jimmy <laughs> okay jimmy from bts <laughs> so you know shout out to them and all of us shout out to like 
all the people going to the in hyphen concert because your girl can't because or at this moment i can't and i'm so sad about it but that's that's for another story time and let me know if you're gonna go to the black pink concert because i might want to go or the 80s one because that's in november too anyway just like the whole purpose of this video is like i'm back you know i'm coming back period you know for the girls out there in the streets that's been like dang where taylor been she ain't put out a vlog in forever it's been a year so i just want to tell y'all i'm back i'm gonna be more consistent so i can you know get let y'all know the tea of the tea that i know and the tea that i feel like everybody else should know like you know kind of thing so yeah subscribe like comment and share tell me what's your favorite like language to learn or say that you know or even if you don't know it like just using it in everyday whatever matters that you do like every i use it as much as i can so let me know you know that kind of stuff what's your favorite like anime if you want to post it mine is definitely one of them is probably luffy now um zoro shout out to zoro now period jujitsu kaizen come on let's go anyway subscribe like and comment i'll see y'all on the flip side which is that subscribe side so go subscribe. And that's on Nida. Okay.